Hey guys, um, this one's going to be about article submitter. So we'll literally load up your profile again and we'll just click through to the article submitter tab. Now in this instance we won't really want to add spin tax in the title because ideally you want the title to be posted the same on each one. You can add it however if you like, um, if you want a different title on each, but for the sake of this example I'm just going to keep it keyword ever without spin tax. Summary usually you will want to sp like spin it uh, so you'll need to add spin tax code into the summary and um, generally try and go for a minimum of sort of 200 characters uh, some allow 160 some expect more than that you'll find out as you go it'll come up with a error code saying that the summary is too short if it is just add a few extra sentences on the end um, this And then we'll just add another syntax. And then we'll leave it there. So obviously that's pretty short. Next will just be the article body. So I've just prepared a random document there. The resource box is probably your most important one. I hear a lot of people do sort of syntax, spin tax coding on the resource box as well. It just really, in my eyes, it depends on how many articles you're submitting to and depending on the way you're doing it, whether or not the articles are linking straight to your money site or linking to, say, another article on another website. I've seen quite a few strategies, um, but really I'll just show you how you do it. So... Usually you just add a href coding in. So find out more about the best example keyword. And if I wanted to make the best example keyword, the anchor text, I'd simply drop in this. And then add the target equals some do accept the target blank code, some don't. Uh, so sometimes it's just easier to that add the ahref. And usually they will add it for you. The example is my keyword, and then obviously just the standard ones that I'll be typing in here. Um yeah, and then you have the spin options if you do have um best the best spinner set up. And we'll just quickly cut through to the submitter tab. Load up just say article friendly for now. Um probably want to go for one of the lesser ones, but you just tick them. Uh register and check mail. Generally the check mail option once again, like on previous ones, it's good to just go through to your article website and register on them all. Then wait a day or two for the activation emails to come through. This way at least that you can submit to a lot more. Um, so first of all you tick register and check mail. Then you tick after a few days go past. You'd say, uh, come back to create profile and submit article. And it's pretty much as simple as that. Um, to add spin tax to the coding, simply add the spin tax tags, then you can make it as short as that. And add the href at the front of it. And then at the back of it as well. Just 
notice I didn't fully fill in this field. Um, usually you'd put your keyword your keyword set to the same as your sort of anchor text keywords. That way you won't get confused either. Uh, you can save the article. I tend to do this. I just hit save and then I would name it example one article and then spoon as well. And then article successfully saved just in case I find more article websites in the future that I want to submit to. Then you just run through the submission process and that's the article tab sorted.